every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because So the average believer when confronted with challenges does not even understand the principles of the kingdom accurately to know what keys of the kingdom to engage with understanding. You may have heard me say it. The average believer will, will random pick any truth in the Bible and engage it. The blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, seed sowing, touching and agreeing, the prophetic, now, that person is trying to find a solution but because there is no accurate understanding of the keys of the kingdom and what doors they open we will just random pick and engage anything and the danger is that one will walk but you do not know which one really walked was it the blood of jesus or was it the seed you sowed or was it the prayer was it the night vigil was it the prophetic decree you don't know and most times we don't care so there cannot be mastery the bible says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully every time you kick your car you do the exact same thing you did when you learned how to drive and that car under normal circumstances should not be disobedient because there is a law that is connected with that principle if a demon spirit attacks your family do you know what to do if for any reason you experience delay in your life do you know what to do are we together if the odds are against you do you know what key to engage if you are succeeding in the kingdom do you know how to remain there as a man of god if god trusts you with a congregation do you know how to grow that seed to become a, a ministry and a vision that is impacting people around the world do you know how to train your spirit man so that you can build and grow and expand on the gifts of the spirit within you i'm exposing these various areas to you so that you will see that even the best of us still has work to do it is based on this revelation that hunger is genuinely created so that no matter what our achievements are we run back to scripture we run back to jesus we run back to doctrine there is no arrival mentality in this kingdom because there is so much even in heaven there is room to come up hither you can still see further hallelujah this became a burden and i said the church in nigeria and the church in africa will remain in trouble if we do not obtain grace from god to come up with doctrinal strategies for the growth and the maturity of believers if we do not pay attention to this i guarantee you that in the next 10 to 20 years with the way technology is interrupting the purity of doctrine with the way there are all kinds of mixes coming based on our understanding of westernization a day will come there will be too many versions of christianity you can stand with 10 professing christians and not be able to pick which one is authentic already there are shades of these things around the world and you know i'm sent to the body of christ i don't speak from a standpoint of sarcasm but there has to be authenticity ladies and gentlemen Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.